ready for America's most ambitious venture yet in the space program. Colonel Frank Borman is command pilot. And with space twin commander James Lovell, the Gemini 7 is aiming at 14 days in orbit, twice the man hours in space as all other US flights combined. The men you will notice are wearing a new, lighter weight suit than those used on previous flights. Replete with zippers, they will be removed during the flight for what might be called a shirt sleeve space flight. The bubble helmets surround an inner crash type helmet. At last, space pilots are beginning to resemble the Buck Rogers of the comic strip. The elevator takes them up the gantry on pad 19, the only site from which Gemini Titan flights can start. Immediately after Borman and Lovell are airborne, workmen will swarm around pad 19 to ready it for the flight of Gemini 6. They hope to have the job completed within seven or eight days and send Gemini 6 aloft with pilots Walter Schirra and Thomas Stafford to a rendezvous with Gemini 7. Everything about the pre-launch is called the smoothest on record. The Russians tried to get a propaganda jump by shooting a missile to the moon for a soft landing just as the Gemini twins took off. They missed again. It crashed into the moon's surface. As the clock nears 2.30 in the afternoon, the countdown approaches zero and ignition comes with a mighty roar. It's a perfect start to a trip scheduled for more than four and a half million miles. And there's an added bonus. Wind blows smoke and flames away from the pad, lessening the expected damage. If all goes according to plan, the men will be in orbit for almost 330 hours. Exhaustive medical tests are on the agenda to find how this prolonged flight will affect red blood cells and the draining of calcium from the bone structure. Meanwhile, Gemini 7 is no sooner out of sight than technicians go to work on pad 19 to repair damage and mount the second Gemini Titan. The Titan is trucked to the gantry hours before schedule, and optimists see the Gemini 6 as being launched a day before it had been planned. Now, a successful Gemini rendezvous could bring the U.S. years closer to the manned Apollo flight to the moon.